Welcome back, everyone. Round three of Night Team Four. Um, we uh, we didn't fail. Well, I'm not going to say we failed our mission in episode two, but uh, but we were definitely unsuccessful. Um, we need to go back to the academy. We need to go back to the academy. Let's uh, finish up some of our um, file or our, our password um cracking stuff um in our training and then once we figure out that sort of stuff we'll we'll head back into that mission um i appreciate you guys being well uh being here i hope you guys are doing well let's get into phase two of our uh of our password cracking training awesome you found my super secret password looks like i'll have to update my aol login info now connect to my computer and download the personal nt4 files on my user directory my computer ip is this the file browser uh, module is in the data forensics menu while connected to ftp 194com open the file browser module connect to dylan's computer um, log in to user and password json and then download the file okay cool um so first things first let's make sure that we are connected to connection completed 194 good um, open the file browser. Good. The target host is uh, the IP 192.168.1.5. And then we have a username, which is DVOORHEES. And the password, Jason. Let's connect. Only a one gigabit per second network. Jeez, you need to upgrade your internet, man. Upgrade your internet. This is going to take forever. Uh, download the file. Um, Dory's. Uh, ND4 files. ND4. Nailed it. Look at me just clicking through their file directory. Cool. Uh, let's see what the third one is. I don't think this will actually help us with the the password cracking Gaining stuff unfortunately to a network not only allows you to dig around their computer you can also plant malware or even compromising evidence within their system. It's an effective oh, means no, of gaining gonna put leverage nudes. and control over your target. Plus, it's fun. To finish the certification, plant the file Bank of China Savings account in my user directory. You'll need to navigate to my documents folder and upload the file by double clicking it in the delivery package panel. All right, that's cool. Uh, so let's continue the training here. Let's go to data forensics file browser. Uh, same thing as before the IP address 192.168.1.5. Um, D v o o r h e e s and password json and upload the file bank of china savings account text to um dylan's root folder error upload it needs to go to the actual root folder there we go Thinking? No, invalid location. So let's try. Can it go here? And then I'll check cool stuff, personal stuff, and see if that works. Oh, never mind. Okay, so it just had to go into actually root and then uh, the username. Okay. That wasn't useful for our mission team. We're going to go back to our mission. Um, and we're going to see if I can figure that one out. Do I have everything in here? No, we uh, may have... We may have had a bit of a stall here. We're going to select the mission. This will be good. Let's let's see if we can figure out how to get into uh, the password. Um, OK. So first things first, they wanted us to connect. Completed. Oh, and why is this not? Let's select the mission. Let's start hacking. Good. Um, 
of the stuff they wanted us to do, they wanted to inspect the network for potential digital repositories using the WMI scanner. Okay, so let's get the WMI uh, scanner up again. Information gathering module initiated. Net scan in order to find the stuff that we've already found. Um, and then it completed whenever we got this. So assuming that they weren't having us go into password attack and intrusion module initiated too many different things. Um, we already tried uh, using the um, IP address. Uh, shoot. Um, crap. 34.195.207.254 um, and we've checked nlightman as uh, the username and we got the wrong host or username so assuming that they aren't having us do anything else we've already used this we've already used turbine c2 registry initiated the, oh the um I've already used the uh, URL from, uh, not the URL, uh, the domain name from um, the briefing. Uh, there's no way that they want us to hack into um, the printer because that that doesn't have a user account, so they would have said that. Um, let's see. Let's see if okay. Let's see if slash user slash n light man slash c with a with that that is that can't be the user account right yeah let's let's flip those around um, so the username is that let's see if um, instead of the IP address they want me to go n light man slash c with a dollar sign. Um, Let's see if that will work. Wrong host or username. Oh, bad spelling. Target okay, all right, Awaiting so I don't know attack. why. That isn't a, that isn't a URL. That's weird that that was something that I was, um, that I was trying, uh, that like, would actually be used in a URL spot instead of uh, an IP address or anything like that. Uh, it's not a dating profile. This is just a normal, it's a normal login. Let's use um, John the Ripper because that's what we used last time. Um, I don't know what the John the Ripper database is, but um, there was actually a Reddit post recently of um, somebody who created honeypot servers which essentially are vulnerable servers that um have nothing on them but um there are people all around the world willing to kind of like try and break into that server um and they looked at like the top 2000 um, successfully compromised oh boy bcc to the moon um but uh they they found the list of like uh, usernames and passwords that people were guessing um, in these brute force attacks and what were the most common ones um, one two three four admin things like that were were super common but um, I don't know it's super it was interesting uh, so BCC to the moon find any relevant files to help the investigation so now we know what to do we go into um, file browser the target host we're going to use the same target host user slash n light man slash oh no it was it was the ip address yes the ip address was what we used in the training uh 207.254 uh pepe hands um slash user slash no that is that's gonna be the path did I mistype that no I didn't mistype that um it's it's just not that it's actually not that um
Wait, what? Password is BCC to the moon. That's definitely the IP address. Turbine C2 registry right? initiated. Uh, let's let's actually check it. Um, slash enlightenman slash C. That's so weird. That's so weird. Um, I wasn't I wasn't well. At least told to the user. But anyways, um, enlightenman and then um, BCC to the moon. Find any relevant files to help the investigation. Let's check Lightman, documents, school stuff, no. Uh, all that is locked. Um, backup, important, where's, files, hello. So, this script kitty managed to infect themselves. That's pretty careless. <clears throat> Look at this list. Hmm. There's a lot here, but all the malware is outdated. Some of them are at least five years old. Well, except uni74455.dll. No idea what that is. Never seen it before. Can you download it so I can get a closer look? Sure. I, I can double click. Double click was the easiest thing that I've done so far. Okay. All right, well. Took us a little bit of time to figure out that um, in the place of an IP address, they wanted us to give a full path. Um, but sure, I'll go with that. Add to case file. Credentials. Nice. Okay, cool. We'll keep that. And mission complete. Pause. Nice. Um, click to go back. And, oh, okay. So there's chapter two, chapter three, and they just keep on going. Uh, let's check to see what this next message, uh, this Things next mission actually has. And then once I get that, the we will, uh, news, we might go back to the academy. Like our arsenal wasn't the only one compromised. The main intelligence director oh, no, of the Russian Federation, also known as GRU, confirmed UNI74455.dll as one of their projects. Well, oh. not exactly confirmed, but I'll spare you the details. The the Russians are trying to hack us as well. GRU agreed to help us on this case, and they've shared the identity of a suspect, Nathan Lightman. He's likely the owner of that computer you infiltrated. We've pulled his financial make sense. information, IDs, and records, and uploaded it to your X key score. All right, so Nathan Lightman is our your target. Your objectives are investigate Nathan Lightman's IDs and records and financial transactions, access his cell phone and analyze his recent activities, identify the details of Lightman's acquisition of military-grade malware. Okay, and Dylan will now be in the field to assist me. Thank God really need Dylan to, to help me out on this one. Let's close the briefing document. So agency is involved and we get rep with each one of them as we do stuff. So we get to choose whether we want to be American or Russian on this. I don't actually know. Um, analyze Nathan Lightman's X key score files, break into his cell phone, um, find the suspicious online activities and track down any of his online connections. Will do. I've uploaded the Russian intel on Nathan Lightman to your X key score. Let's try to figure out his phone's MAC address so we can use the CID backdoor module to get in. Wonder if we'll find a phone call with Alexei Navalny or something that explains why GRU has all this information on Lightman already. I prefer, I prefer his phone tell me what you just said. If I could get a, a like computer hacker to English translator, that would be awesome. Analyze Nathan Lightman's X key score, um, Files. X key score X forensics. X key score forensics Hello. initiated. Um, Lightman. Oh, I can just I can just click it. 
Yes. What? Sure. We're, we're just gonna, let's just keep on. Oh wait, probably just take this back. And then Nathan Lightman, can I, can I click go? Is there a go button? No, that's a reset button. Server capacity, key score, entities, algorithm complexity, 30 CPUs, is this it? I've uploaded the Russian intel on Nathan Lightman to your X key score. Let's try to figure out his phone's MAC address so we can use the CID backdoor module to get in. Pattern analysis, advanced filters. Uh, let's look for IDs and records. So that's his profile? That is just weird. Um, I probably should have done all this in the academy. His fingerprints, he's got so many fingers right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 fingers on each hand. That is impressive. Uh, let's click to zoom. Pinch to zoom, by the way. All right. There's a Nathan Lightman, uh, N. Lightman, Southampton. Oh, man. UK. Can't trust any of them. Uh, date of birth, the 23rd of February. Um... Residence in Salisbury. That's they make some good stakes. Um, he's engaged. Oh, but we do have a Mac address. CO 9030 F6 uh, C2 and 7C. I really hope that this is something that I won't have to remember. Break into his cell phone. Network intrusion. Cell phone Network CID backdoor. Intrusion module initiated. Oh, son of a... All right. X key score forensics initiated. Are we going to be able to, to copy this? Do I have to remember this? All right, team. Breaking out the phone. Yoinks. All right. Let's see if I can... Let's see if I can remember all this stuff. Wait. Oh, I can just leave it up. Look at me taking pictures of things, moving around windows. Uh, Mac address is C0, I believe. Uh, I believe all those are zeros. If not, we're gonna have lots of problems. Uh, nine, zero, um, three, zero, F6, C2, seven, C. And then the vendor is Sam Sung. Can't break into iPhones, so. All right, hack a man. Galaxy S9, shit, I have an S9 Plus. Um, it's a good phone, it's a good phone. And I can call him, Hogs, find suspicious online activities. Probably the dude in the hood, I would assume is the suspicious activities. Um, trade info? Well, no progress party membership card, but that's a Monero wallet ID. However, I'm not sure about that node ID. I don't know what either of those are. I'm assuming it's Bitcoin, uh, but it being a uh, it being in his notes is pretty good. Let's make sure that his Wi-Fi is off. That's good. I'm glad. Device information. That's everything that we have on him, anyways. Messages. Jim, dude, come over tonight. Just uh, I just found the craziest site. You have to see this. Lamau. All right, I'll head over after dinner. Uh, let's check his calls. It's mom. That's cute. And then. Or, oh, we should, oh, mobile encrypted, really? Dad encrypted? Freddy encrypted? We, we aren't gonna get any of this. Um, nope, okay. Cool. Uh, so we have all of that. We'll add to the case file. Nice and easy. Um, track down any of his online connections. Um, which they may be asking me for network intrusion module initiated looking for his xmr or his node id which let's check if there's I mean, we could use a notepad here uh advanced tools turbine c2 satellite feed hive mind command center network intrusion social engineering 
I don't I don't know where to go from here. So I think I think this means that we go back into the academy and learn some more things. Uh, the fact that we've already done mobile forensics, but we didn't necessarily actually do that. Um, X key score basics. Let's get moving. You now have the means to covertly browse a target's documents that we did. and sensitive data, which is useful, but often the important information is hidden in vast amount of data. It's far too time consuming to sift through it all manually. Luckily, our friends at the NSA we found, uh, gave us access Lightman. to X key score, an advanced server grid that gathers and analyzes millions of data points in mere seconds. When you're searching for a needle in the haystack, X key score is like a powerful magnet. Maybe they should As a level give that to Google. Analyst, your access to military and civilian surveillance data is very limited, but you can use X key score to identify specific patterns in any data sources you yourself find during missions. Agent Dillon will demonstrate what you can get out of X key score at your current clearance level. Sounds good. X key score. You're going to grow to love this thing. Does most of the heavy lifting for us. Trust me, it saves a ton of time and effort. X key score is the last icon at the bottom of your screen. The one that looks like an eye. The interface is super simple. When you import data points into X key score, it analyzes and tags them as organizations and individual entities, or else data sources for things like bank accounts, financial transactions, or traffic cams. I've loaded two entities into your database. Drag and drop them in the center of the screen and select the IDs and records pattern. This will task X key score to find any official records connecting the entities. To run the query, click on the play icon in the lower center of the screen. Okay, so. Uh, launch X, X key, key score. score we'll take out initiated. Nathan Lightman. Um, we'll take out I got everything here. Dumb Voorhees and Night Team 4. Um, and there we will look for IDs and records. So we'll look at we'll look at Dylan here. Wonder why wonder if this actually happens, that they train people on hacking other agents? That would that would be weird. Training completed. Um Agro Marin. Oh, you, you're pretty cool. Marital status single. <laughs> uh, family is classified. Uh, 3.5, 3.5 GPA. Mm, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Oh man, this guy's younger than me. Oh okay. yeah. <laughs> status is he graduated high school in 2009 but graduated college in 2015 somebody took gap year or two somebody took a gap year or two um let's go back to the certification let's go to the link that connects dylan and wheeler that's me oh sergeant Hard nice i think i could be such a skilled hacker and such a handsome devil Some of that's us true just have it all i guess now let's add wheeler as a third entity try to find something that connects all three Back to it. X key score forensics initiated. Uh, let's let's just add all the stuff. Algorithm complexity is a little bit higher now that we have too many. Oh my god. Uh, uh, our Agent Dylan under Sergeant Wheeler's command. Nailed it. So that is the thing that connects them. It's the fact that um, agent, your request for transfer has been granted. You are now a member of 194, section eight under the direct command of Sergeant Catherine Wheeler. You are to report to her at once to receive your orders. Your previous um, CO, Sergeant Furness, has been notified of your transfer. Cool. Um, and then this is Agent Wheeler. Marital status is classified too. We can't even figure out if you're single. Really? Uh, let's check. Oh, wow. You're you're a smarty though. <laughs> South Eugene and then University of Cambridge. Uh, Masters of Studies in History, uh, Spec Theology. Really? That's, that's an interesting backstory. Now she's a hacker man? Uh, employment history, Voodoo Donuts, University of Cambridge as a researcher, and then uh, 
Dormouse Investments? Cool. All right, so that is uh, the connection between them. And then in Great X job. key score. I've reset your entities oh. and loaded up an investigation scenario. Find a connection between Sigil and the Black Watchman. Any new entities you discover will automatically be added to your X key score database. Uh, okay, so analyze the list of suspects and the connection to Black Watchman. Investigate deeper into Quachil. Otis? Connections. Uh, find the connection between Sigil and the Black Watchman. Cool. We're just framing somebody. X Not a big deal. Forensics. Can we can we get rid of everyone? Yoinks. 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 And yoinks. Have fun with that. Uh, so we need the Black Watchman. And with the Black Watchman, we want to add a couple of people. I uh, just want to make sure that the server capacity is fine, but um, we'll we'll add in as many people as possible. We might have to add Oscar. Um, so we found Gregory Letsky mission report. Uh, click to zoom. Uh, we prepared a brief profile on the subject. He's tasked with surveillance. We do not know his current whereabouts. However, we were able to extract some intelligence on him based on the past data available online and through phone records. We hope that this proves useful in tracking down contact information or location. Uh, Letsky is an employer is vanguard institute he's an assistant researcher um with nobody nobody needs to know his yearly salary um he likes gaming and long distance running um and his relationships um with calls and his circle of friends okay cool so um X key score forensics. John Initiated. Taylor. Oh. Congratulations, you unlocked a new set of uh, X key score entities. You now have access to new data that will help you on your investigation. You just see what you can find by cross referencing X in a run pattern analysis. We will we will work on that. Give me a sec. Um, Taylor reporting in. You're in a position within the storm. Understood. You try to get some photos of anything you usually see. We'll do over and out. Um. There's something here. I think I got a photo. I'll send it over straight your way. The dust is really heavy right now. Not sure if you got a good shot. Understand. Can you describe what you saw? Sure. Got a decent look at it. It seemed like a child, a little bald, wrinkly, dried up child like the body we found, only smaller over. Anything else is good. We need as much detail as possible to ID. X key score okay. forensics initiated. So if I'm not mistaken, Letsky really didn't bring us much, but we need to check out um, Otis because I think we got Otis from the John Taylor um, mission report. So we shall check that link. Um, hello. Um, Otis uh, suspect report. Opal 5 was a Class B Void Rift event. One hostile entity, uh, several partial remnants, and many non-hostile entities came from uh, into our dimension from the hostile entity caused the death of one asset and at least, one, uh, at least five civilians before it was eliminated. The entity was thought to have appeared sporadically in the area over a seven-year period based on the dates of disappearance of several of its victims. Um, target attack during dust storms which caused various uh, meteorological, physical, and digital disturbances. Um, casualties was Taylor. So, um, this guy, um, looking for his actual name, um, Otis, Otis, um, killed John Taylor. Um, X so that's a connection there forensics. and Initiated. hello. Thank you. Uh, congratulations, you unlocked a new set of uh, X key score entities. You now have access to new data, which will help you with your investigation. Sounds good. And uh, this is looking at Void Rift entity activity, which is what they were um, what they were talking about in the last one, which specifically they're looking at the one in the Outback. Local Aska, John Taylor killed, entity destroyed. A marked increase in Void Rift events. I don't know necessarily what they're talking about void rift but um X key score forensics initiated pull out john taylor and let's instead use sigil um 
It seems like I can keep a lot of the IDs and records things in here. Um, I just need to pull out um, people. So, um, suspect ID, that is the same thing that we had last time. Now the sigil threat report. Sigil eyes only, project overmind, top secret. Um, Rift intercept squad was assembled from seasoned sigil field agents and received special training for intercept uh, operation. Uh, the squad made contact with subject Theta as soon as she entered the rift. Agents fired the sub fired uh, on subject with tranquilizer bullets, but they were deflected. Several casualties were sustained as subject fought back. Sharpshooter fired on Theta and hit right shoulder, incapacitating them. They were restrained and given additional sedatives to ensure safe transport back to the research site. Um, stealth technology proved effective in field. Black Watchman equipment did not detect our squad. Uh, request threat level for a black watchman be elevated as they may try to retrieve subject in the future. Interesting. Uh, Project Overmind program. We expect that their unique abilities could provide valuable insights into rift manipulation. This, this is like super sci-fi stuff, but yet at the same time, it's not. It, it's based in the current time because Dylan worked around the same, like he graduated recently. So it's like modern day, but it's also sci-fi stuff. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Um, anyways, that is uh, the end of our certification there. Uh, I think the next thing that we're gonna end up doing is looking into mobile forensics, which is the things that we've been um, looking into on our current mission. Um, I kind of like this, have the mission in the background, do the training to understand it, and then go back to the mission until we get stuck and then go back. Um, I'm liking that right now. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I do appreciate you stopping in for what I believe is episode three. Uh, episode three of uh, of our 19.4 playthrough. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I stream uh, five days a week from seven o'clock to 11 o'clock Eastern time um, over on Twitch, link in the description. Thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you guys next time. Bye.